What if I told you the most powerful WhatsApp API for automation isn't owned by Meta, isn't limited by pricing tiers, and doesn't even live in the cloud? And the best part is, it's completely free. I was helping a startup automate their WhatsApp customer service. And every solution we tried came with strings attached, pricing tiers, weird limitations, and massive privacy concerns. Hi, everyone. I'm Hadidis, and today I'm going to show you how to freely connect WhatsApp with the NetApp how to send and receive WhatsApp messages, how to build a custom AI agent trained to answer your customers fully automated. One quick note before we jump into the setup. I know some YouTubers keep their workflow behind bay walls or private communities or private school communities, but not here. I'm going to give you the NNN workflow you see in this video completely free. No communities, no login, just a link in the description. You can simply import into your own instance and tweak it however you like. If that sounds good for you, consider subscribing because every tutorial I post comes with the actual workflow that you can import. Let's get into it. I found Waha. Waha API is local and 100% free. A self-hosted WhatsApp API that runs on your own machine or server. No cloud, no spying, no limits, just pure local automation. Just like WhatsApp should have been all along. Let's dive right in. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is, you're going to need to download Docker Desktop. Search Google for Docker Desktop and then click the link where you can download Docker for your own operating system. Then from there, Go into the YouTube video description and download the archive I have. Once you download the archive and you have the archive extracted, you will see that it contains two folders based on which operating system you have, right? So I'm using Mac, so I'm going to to open the Mac folder and just open it in any terminal that you have, right? And if you're on Windows, you can do the same and open Command Prompt, which is the equivalent of the terminal. I'm going to use VS Code here, which is my preference. So open the terminal in VS Code, and then I will write CD, then the folder name, which is Mac for my version. Then I'm going to enter. From inside the Mac folder, I'm going to type docker compose up dash D, which should start the docker containers containing Waha and NetN. If you already have NetN running, you can simply select NetN from the docker compose file and just hit command and question mark to comment out the NetN container. And if you do comment it, you need to also comment the volume of it. But since I want to run NetN from the Docker container, I'm not going to comment it. Once we have the containers running, we can simply open open our browser into localhost 3000 dashboard. Here we are on Waha dashboard. Here we can connect our WhatsApp account to Waha server so we can automate our WhatsApp account. So I'm going to go into NetN to create a new workflow. The first thing that we're going to need is a webhook, right? So something that can trigger our mission to start. So I'm going to choose the webhook call and go, I'm going to need to change this into post request. And we're going to copy the production URL. Click on the production URL, make sure it's production and copy it, right? And then turn it on and save. And then from Moha, I'm going to start a new session. I'm going to name the session as default, which is super important. You must name it default. You can't name it anything else, or it will have an error. From webhooks here, we're going to create a new webhook. And we're going to paste the URL that we got from NETA. But since we're running Docker, we need to change it from localhost into N8N. So instead of typing localhost, you'll just type N8N because we're running on Docker. But if you're running it elsewhere, you can simply type the IP or the domain name of our NNT answer. So for the events, we're going to select messages only. So what is events first? Events is filters that you set in Waha. So you tell Waha whenever one of these events happen, you need to send it to this webhook URL. So I'm going to select messages and then I'm going to click create and start. You should have the session now starting. And after a couple of seconds, you should have the QR code ready. Now, from your WhatsApp account that you want to connect, click on link device. So I'm going to click on the screenshot QR. And then using my device, I'm going to scan the QR code. And you should see after scanning the QR code that you are now logging in, right? So I'm going to name the account first on my device. And you should see it as working. Once you have it working, you are ready to go. Now, we need to have some sample data here in the webhook and in it, and so we can build upon it, right? I'm going to use my other WhatsApp account to send a message to myself. Once I send the message, I should see that the message has appeared here in the executions. So clicking here, you can see that the message was received. I'm going to click copy to editor. 
we need to add our AI agent. So I'm going to choose AI, AI agent. We click on it. We just select define below for the user message. And we don't need the headers from the webhook. We need the body. Drag and drop the body here. And now we have the user message as the body from the webhook that we got. We can also add a system message, system prompt. So you are a helpful assistant. Your goal is to help customers understand privacy policy. Just as an example here, right? And we're going to add a chat model. I'm going to use OpenAI. I'm going to use the mini version of default. We are going to connect a memory now. We want our AI agent to remember past conversations with the same user so it knows and it can continue the same conversation over and over again. So we're going to say define below and we need to have a key so to filter the messages in the simple memory, right? We are going to select from payload the from, which is the, the person that messaged us. We're going to select the from and we're going also to increase the context window length into 10 messages so it remembered the last 10 messages from the customer. And then we're going to need to have an HTTP request to send back the message to WhatsApp. So we are going to make it a post request. And then we need to access Waha API. So I'm going to go to localhost 3000. And then from there, we're going to see the send text, right? Send a text message. I'll copy this one. This is the example body. And... We're going to add a send body for using JSON. And we're going to paste this in here. We're going to have it an expression. And we're going to use the chat ID, which is going to chat, send the message to. We're going to choose the payload and then from again. Uh, we don't need the reply to. We're not replying. Uh, we're just, we need also the body, which we will get from the AI agent once it runs. We're almost good to go, right? We also need the API, the API URL, which should be HTTP. And then we have to say Waha instead of localhost and 3000, right? And then slash API slash send text. Okay. Great. We're almost ready. Let's just name this send message. Let's save it. And let's try to run the AI agent so we have the expression to use here. Now, from here, we need to send this body in the text. So this is the, the message that will be sent. And then save again. Now, we're actually ready to test inside WhatsApp. I can see that our test run that had ran. So if I send a message from my other account saying, hey, who are you? We should see the execution right here. And we should see that it did reply. I'm a virtual assistant he, here to help you understand WhatsApp privacy policy and answer your questions you might have. How can I assist you today? So that's it. So this was the simple beginner version of this tutorial. The next videos we will use tools and we will connect it with multiple data sources. And we will actually have some sort of data ingestion to, to understand the documents, answer all about a customer using their documentation and their website. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like. And if you think that you might need any of these workflows in the future, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the next video, which is going to come very soon next week. Thank you, everyone, and have a good day.